So with that, Alan, take it away, man. Hey everyone, my name is Alan Smithson, the CEO of Metaverse, and today I am super thrilled to announce a new product to the world, one that we think is truly going to change the world. And we believe that in the next decade, we will see transformational changes in how we consume data. We will go from two-dimensional screens to three-dimensional worlds. And we're really proud to be bringing this new product to you, one that we feel will level the playing field for organizations around the world to leverage the transformative power of XR. Before I get started, I just want to explain, I'm going to be using QR codes in this presentation so you can hold up your phone and your camera, point it at the QR code, it will take you to a browser and you can download either this presentation on PDF or you can experience some of the live experiences that we're going to talk about in the, field, in the presentation later on today. Oops. So let's talk about the number of devices that are out there right now. Currently, there are over 5 billion devices that can leverage the power of 3D on the internet right now. So if you have 5 billion devices, let's start building experiences that drive value immediately with an eye and focus to the future of head-worn devices. So we believe that the return on investment is not in 10 years, it is right now. And if you look at the numbers on this chart here, you've got e-commerce seeing 200% increases in time spent on the platform, 85% increases in sales conversions, and 80% decreases in product returns. This is an incredible statistic in e-commerce. Okay, what about marketing? 25 times higher click-through rates, 10 times higher engagement rates, 33% higher conversion rates using 3D and AR. This is not something to be trifled with. Now, if you take off com commerce and marketing and we look at something more altruistic like training and education, 70% increases in retention rates, up to 97% reductions in time for information, and 90% uh, reductions in training-related costs. Travel, we can't even travel right now, so how do you train people quickly and effectively? And of course, that leads us to the main one that really is a focus for us in the long, long term is how do we use all this technology, everything that we use for commerce, marketing, training, design, all of these things, how do we leverage those tools for education? Our mission is to unlock the power of spatial computing, that's 3D and XR for everyone. Our team has over 50 years combined experience building XR experiences around the world. We have created over 100 projects and seven world firsts. And we believe that we have built a product that can truly transform this entire industry. We've also built an entire network ecosystem of researchers, developers, uh, designers, uh, affiliates, um, beautiful XR passionate people in the industry. You watching this right now at AWE, our network is our strength. And so we have a number of different programs from partnership programs for developers to right through to affiliate programs for sales and uh, value added resellers. We're really excited. The ecosystem is how we build the future of this product. We can't possibly do it without your help. So please, we're really looking to you to help us make this into something truly transformative. So without further ado, I would like to introduce
What do you think of the Metaverse engine? We're pretty proud of it and we hope you like it. But let me go through some of the details more in depth so you understand the full potential of this platform and what it can do for you and the organizations that you serve. Like I said before, we're going to be using QR codes. So you can actually take out your phone, point your camera at this QR code. It'll take you to the website. You can also click the website link or, or enter it in there. And you can experience what I'm talking about, this Mercedes-Benz application, for example. You can experience it on the web right now with no app directly through scanning that barcode. And we'll be using different examples of that. So you can do that while I'm explaining the different features of the product. So what are some of the use cases that we see for this? Of course, we see e-commerce, retail. Because we can't go to stores, we want to bring the store to you. We also see this for marketing, creating incredible marketing experiences that either fall into ads or you can have anywhere on the internet, wherever you go. And training and education is our sweet spot. It's one of our passionate things and it's our passion project. And we know that we can use this technology to really drive enterprise value through these three verticals. And the reason why these three verticals are important is because the same assets that you use for training can be used for marketing and sales. We're really, really excited to start seeing the cross promotion of these assets across organizations. The Metaverse engine is really for business and education. We make it easy for anyone to become a creator. Our platform can quickly help people build and deploy incredible experiences in 3D and XR across all platforms, browsers, and devices. It is a web-based end-to-end solution. We take care of the hosting for you as well. You build it once and you deploy everywhere. Like I said, it is OS, browser, and device agnostic. It's a no-code, low-code system where you can create in hours what normally would have taken you months. There's multi-object and animation support, and of course, synchronous communication. Let's dive into each of those. Here's a medical training demo that you can try right now by scanning this QR code. What we wanted to do here was portray how you could take a very complicated machine, break it down into the very basic constituent educational training parts, and train somebody quickly across anywhere in the world without having to fly a trainer there. Oops. So what does web-based end-to-end solution mean? The Metaverse Editor integrates with our cloud hosting service and empowers users to easily create and showcase interactive 3D and XR experiences to all audiences. You can import existing files from external sources or to utilize our asset store. Multiple objects uh, support and configurations are also available. You can use drag and drop selection and slider editing for functionality and customizable backgrounds and animations are all available at your disposal. Check out this QR code. We built the show shoe demo in under 24 hours on our platform from scratch. So what is build once deploy everywhere? The Metaverse engine runs on an efficient 3D rendering core designed for mobile first architecture in mind to empower lifelike realistic experiences on all devices, whether you're on a mobile phone or a powerful gaming PC. You can preview before you publish real time WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get. And it, because it's using web AR, utilizing a trick that we are able to enable and unlock AR core and AR kit functionality directly from the web using our one app framework. You can copy and paste code directly into any website. You can just take that embed code and put 3D directly on any website. And automatically it will generate published codes for iOS, Android, virtual and mixed reality headsets, and also uh, spit out a QR code so you can automatically get there right away. Like I said before, it is OS, browser and, and device agnostic. The rendering technology works on Mac OS, Windows and Linux. It works on Safari, Chrome, Opera, Firefox, Internet Explorer. It works on phones, tablets, and PC computers, as well as Macs. No coding is required because we use templates. These templates, you can build them. If you're a developer, you can build templates. You build an experience and that template that you've built can be now uh, sold or given away on the platform. And what that does is it allows people that are not familiar with coding to download these assets and start building right away based on the templates. 
It's really exciting. So there's no need to build from scratch. You can get a template that gets you maybe 80% of the way and you can build the rest of it. It's shareable on all platforms and apps and you can distribute and sell your uh, templates and uh, information and your code on our asset store. Check out this live demo of this sofa arrangement and see what it looks like in your space in AR. Create with JavaScript code snippets. What the heck is a code snippet? Code snippets allow non-coding professionals to build and edit with little training. What it is, is customizable. So if you know JavaScript, which a lot of code developers do, you can write JavaScript, you can save that as a code snippet, you can start to change all the parameters and make it easy for somebody else to then take that off the asset store, buy it or download it for free and drag and drop. And now they've got your, your code, they can start to implement that into all sorts of different experiences. Pre-built code snippets are easily imported and there'll be a library at the bottom uh, of, the, of the editor there where you'll not only be able to get 3D assets, but also these amazing code snippets. You can add or edit existing JavaScript code directly in the editor. Synchronous communication allows us to really work as remote teams. Remote collaboration is the future, especially because we're all working from home. And now more than ever, we need to be able to share those 3D experiences from a one to many and many to one. We have facilitator mode, which enables one to many experiences through additional controls. Hardware agnostic across computer, tablets, phones, and VR and MR headsets all at the same time. And you can edit 3D objects, scenes, and experiences with others in real time. I encourage you to try the Metaverse engine today for free. We're very excited to launch this product here at AWE, and I'm super thrilled, and thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, Metaverse.com, M-E-T-A-V-R-S-E, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have about the new Metaverse engine. All right. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, so so great to see you, and um, congratulations on the release. First of all, uh, Thanks, nice man. nice Thank presentation. You so, much. Um, Thank you, David. so yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, testing it out, tried it out, looks great. Um, and then and then just as some questions are popping in here. I have some. So um, you know, model sure. size, scene size. What do people need to sure. think of when they're getting assets ready for metaverse? Yeah. So uh, because you want to be able to push this out to multi devices and it's really key that you optimize everything like like anything in 3D you got to optimize uh, the more optimized you are now the more you'll be able to put into your scene. So uh, we've pushed as much as 6 million polys um, but that's you know pushing out to brand new phones and brand new devices and it, it seems to handle it no problem. Uh, we recommend staying kind of within the, the million poly um, you know kind of under that uh, you know, 30 megabyte file size. And, and if you kind of creep over that, it really just depends on how long you want to wait for it to load. Uh, it depends on your internet speed and your device speed. And, um, you know, on a new phone in really good internet, it works great. And what we're really excited for is the future of 5G when this thing is instant boom, and you can, you know, push a, a couple gig file and it's there in seconds. So the possibilities are endless with this. Right on. And so uh, a question I have that I saw just pop up as well, but is browser based AR on the roadmap? It's already there. So we use a unique system that leverages the power of AR core and AR kit. Um, we didn't want to go and try to build our own slam and try to keep keep up with that because the features that AR core and AR kit are uh, are using daily. They're building new features every single day. And we wanted to be able to have access to all those features on the device that you're on. So what we use is what, what's called a, a one app. And so the first time you go to click AR from the web, it will ask you to download this app once. It's a 16 meg file. It sits in the background. It never opens again. So you never see it. You don't have to deal with it. It just anytime you're in an experience from our brow from any, any of our experiences that are built on our platform, it'll automatically trigger that. So you have the full power as a developer for AR kit and AR core. You got you know, slam tracking, you can take advantage of the IR cameras and the iPad Pro, all of it. Awesome. And and so I guess it's it's one of these, I mean, I imagine you can run in, uh, I saw the browsers that you had listed, um, but like the Oculus browser, that was a question that was asked um, if it runs in yeah, any yeah. of the browsers and the headsets. 
So we have it working in the browser as a, as a 3D image on a 2D screen. So in the Oculus browser, you can interact with the thing. Uh, we actually have it working on the, the Helio browser on Magic Leap, um, but we haven't built the, uh, the connectors. So they're going in probably, I would say between Q2, Q3, our, our roadmap, our product roadmap is actually on our website uh, under the product. So you can look at our product roadmap and it will be in flux as uh, more customers ask for that. So if we have an influx of, uh, customers that say, hey, we want you know, Oculus Quest, we'll bump it up the roadmap. And so we're really just leaning on you, the developers, and our customers uh, in figuring out what are the priorities of this roadmap. We know where we want to be. Uh, we know we want to you know, continue to grow this thing over the next decade, include everything from, you know, uh, from scent machines to IoT sensors. So well, why not? It's on the web. We, we just put in the uh, last minute, we put in web sockets, which allows for real-time communications and a collaboration. So you can uh, create an AR experience, send it out to all your students, and you could uh, control it from one to many. Uh, and they can have a fully, auto fully autonomous and you could you know, do that. So now you have kind of one to many uh, across any device. And this is really powerful. We believe that you know, make keeping the platform completely universal so that it works on iOS, Android, you know, all the browsers, all the OSs, that's the key to really building the central uh, hub for AR as we expand into the world, because you should be in 10 years from now, you should be able to put on your AR glasses, look at anything and say, how do I make this work? And it should work. Yeah. And, and, and so a great question here, what kinds of user interaction uh, does the engine support? And um, are there any interactive templates kind of help people get started? Sure. So right now we, we've built uh, four uh, templates. This has been in the works for four years. We built uh, all the right, the customer rendering core. So this doesn't, it's not built on top of Unity or built on top of Unreal. It's its own engine, uh, its own rendering technology. It was actually originally built um, from lane level navigation to have 3D in, in maps. So it's super ultra efficient with mobile first in mind. And um, the, the question um, is about templates. And so well, the whole system is based on templates. And once you make a template like the shoe, for example, all of the code, all of everything that you saw in the shoe configurator is downloadable mm -hmm. as a template. You have the whole template. You can swap it out for a uh, swap it in for a hat. You can swap it out for a, a couch, whatever you want. And so, as more and more solutions are built on the platform, more and more templates will be available for people that uh, to get them to like ninety percent. And then you just change, you know, change your assets, change your experience. Um, but that's going to be an ongoing thing. Right now, there's only four uh, experiences that that we have the the templates for, but that will expand um, ra really rapidly with use. And we're also going to have a, a template store. So um, developers and coders who build these templates can, and code snippets uh, can sell them. Fantastic. And, and then it looks like um, one, one um, more question here is, um, is your business model the marketplace for models specific to AR, VR, or is it applicable to generic 3D CAD only modeling? I don't really understand the question, but I'll, I'll, yeah. maybe this will answer it. Um, we're not going to be a 3D repository like Sketchfab uh, or CG Trader or TurboSquid. Um, we are going to partner with them and, and use their APIs so that you'll have access to all of those repositories directly from the editor. Um, we're not in that business. We want to create the tool that allows you to take any assets and make beautiful 3D and XR experiences uh, across every device. Hmm. So if so, if I have um, you know a library, I can write an API and then and then use it with the application. It sounds like okay. All right. Well, fantastic. Well, um, yeah, how cool. how do people um, you know follow you? Stay what's going on? Sure. Blog, Twitter, LinkedIn. There's so many ways, uh, but I think for now the easiest thing is just metaverse.com. M e t a v r s e dot com. Uh, you can try the the editor for free. We actually haven't even put in the pricing module yet, so. Um, Feel free to get in there. There's a feedback button at the top of the editor. Please feel free to tell us your feature requests, any bugs that you find, any errors. We're really um, looking to build a community of, of passionate people that want to build solutions, and uh, we're here to help in any way we can. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, as always, it's a it's a pleasure uh, to see your presentations. And and again, for those that are, are watching, uh, make sure to follow them on on LinkedIn and others. Great podcast, uh, great articles as well. And um, and in that, uh, we're concluding this part of it. So, Alan, I'll see you in real life. Hopefully, uh, you know, stay well. Oops. Yeah, man. Hopefully soon. Yeah, exactly. Thanks so much. And and everyone, make sure to Thank check out. Guys. So that's um, Metaverse, M-E-T-A-V-R-S-E dot com. Um, give them some right. feedback, you know, kick the tires, play with the tool.
And, and so with that, um, we're concluding this part uh, before the break.